uh, there was um, three persons missing and two body have been recovered so one was still outstanding so we, we organized that team very fast and was heading on yesterday evening but seems that the, the rain was, was so poor so we decided to turn back and we call off that operation and we executed this morning and what this morning um, we start we reached down here just before 8 8 o'clock members start to arrive and um, because member come from Tulin Grand um, from Tulin Arima you know other section of the country and we, we start our operation just after 8 o'clock and we recover the one body that remained around um, 9 30 you know 9 9 30 9 35 mm. within day we, we identified that there was a body and we end up calling the police and that's how we operate because we, we as hunter search and rescue team we work with the police closely you know they pass any information they give to us and as it does the same as we have we sent all to them so that is what from my behalf of the hunter search and rescue team well i'll hand, hand over to anna Geiser, who's a senior member of our team hi good, 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 good afternoon i would say uh, good morning still um tell us can you tell us um well he gave us what happened and uh, a description about what happened um, you want to add in your, you know, how, how this went down? How did this go down? Right, um, morning everyone. Uh, yes, yeah, so as you confirmed that the body was, body was found at 9.30 a.m. Um, uh, basically, just to reiterate what he said is that we reached here at 8 a.m. and we start mobilizing at around 9 a.m. Um, it didn't take us all that long to uh, recover the body. Um, there, there's a dog on the side, whereas we'll confuse anyone when you're coming down to look for it. Right? Okay. Um, the Hunter Search and Rescue team is actually self-funded by most of the members. They are also funded by uh, organizations that are on the outside. Once there's a, a person that is missing, um, you will find the Hunter Search and Rescue team outside there, uh, working alongside with TTPS, uh, Air Guard, Coast Guard, and our uh, regiment. For the year 2022 so far, how many bodies have you all found? Yeah, come on. As in terms of recovery, uh, mm -hmm. it will be about 22 uh, that has been recovered. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have, uh, for missing persons, there would be about mm -hmm. uh, 25. Mm -hmm. And what was done this morning? So, so what's, the, what's the missing body was then? You heard that the body was, um, may have been there for some time? Yes, um, the body is uh, badly decomposed. Um, what you're actually seeing is basically the bones of the body. Mm. Um, so for how long um, it has been like that, and that's the of decomposition, that will have to be um, done by mm -hmm. forensic DMA. Mm -hmm. So tell us what kind of scene you saw so when you came this morning. You said there was a dead dog on the side. Right, so the time we arrived, uh, we got the scent, um, which okay. you can be confused. So it was a dead dog. So we went looking one time to check and make sure. And, uh, and um, to realize it's a dead dog. Um, with that, we know was to continue looking one time, as we understand that two bodies were thrown behind the house itself. Um, while uh, walking down to that direction, the change of wind direction is what alerted us with the difference of smell. And with that difference of smell, we were able to move around uh, and follow that smell itself to be able to find the body. Was the body concealed in any way? Or did yes, it? Yeah. yes, that is correct. The body was concealed, mm -hmm. it was hidden. Um, there were debris and different items that was on top of the body, so you would not recognize it. And um, the... So, when a body is burnt, uh, flies wouldn't be attracted to it. So, being able to identify it, will have to maybe raise a couple of things because we can't move anything at all you have to make sure that everything is intact with the ammo and forensics we're just able to raise a couple of items to identify well, ribs, hand, head and all that um, uh, yes mm -hmm. and according to the information the police would have given you all the two victims who were found yesterday and this one today what do you all know the identity? Oh. as far as we again? understand that the two persons that were found yesterday was uh, two males and the one that we found today is well, supposedly uh, unconfirmed the female, which would be the girlfriend or wife of the person who owned the estate. You all have any contact with the relatives? No, no contact with the relatives as, as, yet. as yet. That would be the uh, um, TTPS will be making contact with the relatives. So, what's next for you all here? You're just gonna hang around until the police remove the body? Yes, we will hang around for a moment until um, the ammo forensics and everything come in, which is usual protocol for us. 
we do have um, other missions that actually head off to uh, where we have Jonathan um, Van der Steen who is actually missing. Um, uh, we have a couple other patients that are uh, still missing at the moment, so we have to do um, our usual duties. And we didn't get a name. My name is Desi Simon. Spell your first name? D E S E. That's my first name, Simon, S I M O N. Thank you.